hey guys welcome back so today today's video is brought to us by um mike ventures africa and um chef matiko so if you don't know who mike and chef matiko is they are nyabuanse youtubers but that is how we came to know to know them in these streets so this is what happened Mike Ventures gets funds from donors and then he comes to execute the project. He brought uh, this family, Nyangige's family, to the limelight and then there were donors who contributed. Mike Ventures took, took the funds and then did what he was supposed to do, I guess. What he was supposed to do. At this point, did what he was supposed to do, I suppose. So... People came with allegations that um, that he squandered the money, like he, he took the money. You know, he was called a scammer and everything. So I want to dive in uh, the whole saga and everything, and then we see what really happened. Are you ready for this video? Because I'm ready. Let's get into it. So when the allegations were going around, Mike Ventures came out with this video, and let's watch the video first before we come back it's not true because i've disappeared from my project I've, I've disappeared from showing people what i've been doing yes this woman is uh the woman that was claiming that uh, i did not finish the project that he signed me to do this is uh, this is not true guys remember where we came from nyangige's project we are talking on nyangige's project and uh when i saw this video for from nairobi teacher you know like writing uh, 60 i don't know 60 60 years uh, American lady was scammed. This is not true. I'm telling to the viewers, this is not true. Remember where Nyangige came from, guys. You know, uh, I want to show you where Nyangige was living and now people are going to, uh, to the, uh, the YouTube and telling the audience very fake things. Look at this, this is where Nyangige, Nyangige's kitchen. You know, before even the YouTube, this is how Nyangige was living. This is Nyangige's kitchen. And uh, this is where they used to live. Now there's animals living here, guys. It's like hell on earth. This was their bedroom. Before nothing was here, nothing was here. It's only Mike Ventures was coming here and supporting the kids going to school. The first video I did when it went viral and I, I started getting uh, people who started helping Nyangige. It's when I, I was bringing in the school uniform here. And uh, we went on starting a project with one of uh, my subscribers. I really appreciate. I really appreciate her, who started the toilet project, and also people started contributing on that project. This is the beautiful project that we started with. And uh, after that, uh, we went on going, doing uh, this project. This is a well project, as you can see now. Even the neighbors, Nyangige is giving them water from this amazing well that we did. And this is through teamwork, guys. Everything that was signed by Mike Ventures, everything that was signed by Mike Ventures with the, with the, with the, my subscribers, I really did everything perfect. Nothing, even a single cent, was taken from Nyangige's project. If, if, uh, if, if there is something that was taken from Nyangige's house, look at this amazing. This is one of the beautiful projects here in Nyabuhanse, in the village, that was done. This is, not, uh, this is not a hidden roof, this is not a slow pro uh, project, this is an, an, a permanent and beautiful, amazing house today this family can have. Look. So that is the video. The mad house was uh, where Nyangige was living before this other house was constructed by the donors. The toilet, the bowl, the house, and... Uh, all this video I'm reacting to, I never shared the entire video. So kindly go to all the people I mentioned in my videos. Go to, if you like, maybe you can go to their videos and watch the entire the entire video so that you can get the entire so that you can understand deeper of what what went on. But basically, that is it. And he went on to give a tour of the house. It's not a bad house, but yeah, it's good, but the sitting room is uh, relatively small, but way better than where it came from. Okay, but what I have a problem with this video is that uh, Mike Ventures Africa is um, the, <laughs> is <laughs> corner cornering, because showing us the previous house, the, the after house, saying that he was the one who brought them into the limelight, 
you're not addressing uh, the issue at hand. Those are just but side shows. Go directly to the point. People are alleging that you were sent money and you squandered the money or you pocketed the money. But you've showed that there is a project. You did uh, you did construct the house. But now I think the main the main point that uh, people are missing is that uh, the issue is not that uh, he did not construct the house. And I don't understand my ventures when it comes out and alleges that people are saying he did not construct the house. That is not the issue, Mike. Mike, Mike let me just call you Mike at this point. That is not the main issue. People are complaining that you were given a lot of money. The donor was not one, but several, allegedly. So instead, uh, so uh, you were supposed, instead of bringing all these stories, but okay, it was good for us who don't know what is going on. At least we got the, the concept of the idea where all this came about, you know. Okay, so you're supposed to be accountable. That is how you'll clear your name. If you really know that you didn't misappropriate funds in any way, just bring the list of the people who contributed and the amounts. This person brought this amount, this one totaling to these amounts. And then uh, these were the totals. I spent these because I'm very certain that uh, there are people, experts, uh, they are really experts in these streets. But yeah, you might get a quantity surveyor or quantity engineer crickets. I don't know. <laughs> but quantity something. That person who can just give you the exact exact materials to construct an house. And I'm very certain that uh, when they just look at a house, they can give an approximate amount of materials and the, the cost can be calculated. So back to the point, I digress. I was telling Mike Adventures that he should have brought the list, the total amount of the donations, the amount the projects costed, and the balance, if there is any balance. You know, that's how you clear your name. Very simple. Very simple. So, something else, um, something else that uh, Mike Ventures Africa um, said in this video is that I didn't uh, capture that point but he basically said that I can bring the audited books that is not how it goes in finance and accountability yes in corporations books are audited but it does not mean a lot in this situation that is if you want to clear your name but just bring the total amounts the amount you spent because if the house was, uh, yeah, this is how I want to put it across. If the house, uh, if people contributed, let's say one million, and the house, of which these are not the figures, for example, people contributed one million, the house costed uh, half a million. A balance of half a million, that is material. You're supposed to tell people where that amount went. But if, the, if people contributed that one million and the house costed, uh, 900,000, personally I'd say 100,000 is immaterial. You can even claim that uh, maybe you used it in transport, what, 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 which will come and talk about it later. But 100,000 out of 1 million, you can get yourself out of that. You know, so that is what you're supposed to do. Very quickly, because uh, you know... I suppose maybe they were sending to your M-Pesa or bank account. It's so easy. Just come with that list, total amounts, what you spent. Give the, and people will approximate if it really adds up. That is it. So that is the original story about all these things. So after that, Chef Matiko came out with a video yesterday. And let's get into it. Let's watch before we come back. You people, I don't know how you behave. I, I, I really don't know what's wrong with people. If you tell your donor to, to help you, maybe with 2,000, imagine. Just tell your donor. If you tell your donor, uh, I need this money, please, uh, because if not, I'll, I'll find myself taking the money from, you know. The donor will decide to give you or not. And that one, you, you know, some, sometimes 
you people, I don't know how you behave. I, I, I really don't know what's wrong with people. If you tell your donor to, to help you, maybe with 2,000, imagine a house is uh, a house. Somebody wants to construct a, a home. I don't say that the donation should stop. Somebody wants to construct a home for somebody that cost maybe, uh, mm, let me say, let me just quote amount, like 10,000 US dollars is able to do it because there are some people who are outside there have good hearts and wants to help people and is able and you are the one who did this video and brought this family to the light and you tell that person okay i'm going to construct it but please consider me pay me for don't don't like don't say it's charity how do you survive you know don't say that i'm doing charity yes you are doing charity but how do you survive does youtube pay you enough money to survive because you people have families you know so just tell those people, please, I'm going to construct this. But at the end of the day, how much or how am I going to benefit? Don't say it's charity. Because yes, it's charity, because, but how do you survive? You know, that's a big question. How much money do you survive? Uh, do you make in a day to, to, you know, to run your things? Okay, you used to survive before with charity or I, I don't know. But it's good. You just speak to those people and they will help you out. But if you don't need any payment, please do a clean job. We don't like need complaints. We don't like. And it's good just just consider who you, you know, just it's better. It's better the donors to donate directly to those people. If you do a video, just do the first video, get the people the phone, connect them with the donors. Done. There are some people here, out here who are doing real charity. Clean. And they are blessed even the donors give them money you know personally even i wanted to do I, i'll do charity but i will not take that money the money that i did and i think i returned uh, some of uh, the money the, do you remember the kids the father never had the phone and they disappeared and everybody that was telling me can i send can i send i used to tell them no until we we get the kids if i'm uh, i was that greedy person i can't say yes send 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 because you might have i mentioned earlier a house can be 10 shillings and you tell a person it's 10 shillings and the person decides to get eight another person can give eight another person so you end up so you end up having a lot a lot of money from different people that you don't inform because you tell them maybe this house is this amount you know that kind of a story First of all, uh, I like the honesty. The honesty of Chef Matiko in this video was top notch, you know. There was no corner cornering. I was laughing because uh, he was like, you talk with the owner, how do you benefit? So that will tell you in these uh, Nyabohanze shenanigans about the project, supporting these, raising, uh, raising what, uh, donations and everything to support the less fortunate. I think by now you should have understood that people don't do it for the good reasons or genuine reasons. They look for the 10% or the percentage Chef Matiko is talking about. Honestly, because uh, if you look at these projects that uh, the big names in the village have done, no one accounted for it. And um, there was uh, there was this, uh, the latest, which was exposed. Yeah. In this case, like uh, Dimwango's project, which he, he went on a campaign to um, secure funds, to procure funds which was used to build Lola's place. In uh, African tri Tigress, or, uh, yeah, she came out to, to, to expose that uh, some of the funds Dimwango used to give uh, JB Bonite just to say thank you instead of uh Dimwango getting the funds from his her own account is going uh she's going to the donations and giving it to jb and so many and so forth there are so many projects so many donations that have been collected in the past and at some point i'm like and uh, why were they not criticized or they are big names and you will not be given the shout outs. I digress. So, basically that's what 
sh you should have known by now you know but i like how Ch chef matiko was saying like be open because by now that is what we've picked out from all this drama you know people are looking for their their percentage that aside uh, chef matiko went ahead to to question uh, Mike Ventures, like, how do you survive? You cannot say that uh, you're in charity charity projects. How do you survive? And by this, I uh, I was thinking in my mind. I was thinking like uh, Chef Matiko must must know this person in and out, you know, because these things when we when we are out here, we just give our opinions based on what we see online. Otherwise. If it's someone you know and you care, you come from the same village, uh, I think uh, by that you know exactly. Do they have any other business, any other side they're sold? Are they employed? Is this the only thing they do? Because if that is the only thing they do, if that's the only thing they do, it doesn't hold water. What uh, Mike Ventures is claiming, hmm? you know, because where do you get funds to? To fund your life, you have your family. And something else, in that video, uh, the first video, you saw Mike, uh, Mike Ventures alleged that, uh, that uh, I, don't, I didn't take any funds from this project. You saw from the first video. We'll get back to it. Just remember that. So back to this uh, Chef Matiko's uh, video. So that is, that is what he, he questioned... Uh, Mike Ventures. Yeah, and that is so true. That is so true. How do you find your, your life? But in this case, um, Chef Matiko must know that maybe Mike Ventures doesn't have any other side hustle or is not employed, doesn't have anything going on with his life that will bring enough money to sustain his family. So that was it with the Chef Matiko. It was a general, it, generally it was a good video. And I hope the same spirit continues when, when these guys see any misappropriation of uh, donations, they speak out irregardless of who the person is. You know? Yeah. So that was Chef Matiko's sentiments. Let's go to the, cup, the clap back. By who? Mike Ventures. Yes. Uh, someone asked me, Mike, uh, and how do you how do you get uh, paid? Because you are doing charity. And how you do you get paid? Uh, guys, just to be honest, this is an, 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 an registered organization before YouTube. The 10% of the donation that goes comes in, in, uh, in the project was supporting the administration. There, there is transport, there is... Uh, uh, ah, Madere. There, there is transport. There, there is, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, uh, accommodation. There is, there is food. There is administration. So, so many things. So, I will not say that you are sending me uh, to do a project. You are sending me to do a project, and uh, and 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 yeah, I'm not get. I'm not. I'm not being paid. I, I have family. I have family mm -hmm. that I have to take care of. So, I'm, and believe me, next time if I will be doing a project, if uh, if I've decided to keep the project. Mm. I will just make an agreement contract with the with the with the well wishers so they will have that clear. And if anyone, I saw my brother Chef Matigo was saying uh, 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 donors should send the the, 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 the the support direct to the committee. That is also something good if a, if a, if a donor can also support direct to a community. But we are here to oversee. We are the bridge. You know, a, a donor cannot send. A support uh, before maybe me or someone who is doing a project to to give a, a donor the, the the person. So this will be between the donor and and uh, and, and and the someone that is being helped. So there's no problem. I I, I I accept this and it's it's really nice. And I want to tell all my brother that people should not send you the information speaking maybe uh, this guy was speaking bad about you or this guy did this. Why the why this guy? Uh, speak telling lies to you so just consult that guy or just call me instead of you going to youtube and start saying things that are not true yes that was the clap back and uh <laughs> it was a very weak one number one when in the first video he says that he never used any money that was contributed in that first uh first video 
that was wrong because he has he has accepted that he took some funds and if it's 10 percent it would have been okay but you should have uh you should have um agreed with the donors you know this would this would have not come out and if you just use 10 percent just bring the the just bring the accounts which I was talking about. Bring the total amount, what you used, the 10% that remained, and you say, this is what I used. I took, eh? and I used, and because if you used it for transport, airtime, and that is, uh, that is acceptable. But if it was more than that, if it was something so big, if it was material, like maybe more than 30%, 20% of the total amount that was collected, that is wrong. <laughs> I think they just have something to, which is going on between him and Chef Matiko. Just go and watch the old video because he was telling Chef Matiko not to listen to people when they tell him, oh, Mike Ventures is talking not so important at this point by then in the first video he was low key th throwing shade at uh chef matiko because he came with the wife alleging like uh our friends are going against us they are our friends why don't he this person call us directly and uh he, and uh Talk about the issues they have with, with us. They are also like uh, these people, they know that I have an eye problem. and very sorry for the eye problem if that is the case. Very sorry. Quick recovery. But it was like uh, they don't want people to support me so that I can travel and go and get uh, medication. So that is it for today. I, I always, and I, I also did forget today. Kindly subscribe. Kindly subscribe, comment down what your thoughts are, what you like, what you didn't like, everything. Just comment what your thoughts are. As always, this is your girl. This is Neo Trending, bringing you the breaking news <laughs> from Nyabohanze. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace. Bye.